Hey everyone, Matt here with Tyke to show you how to quickly add your GraphQL API into your Tyke setup. So the first thing that we're going to do is click Add New API. The default is going to come up as REST. We're actually going to come down to GraphQL here and check that off. Our API name, since we're going to use the Trevor Blades service, I am going to just call it Trevor Blades for simplicity. And what we're going to do for this one is proxy to an existing GraphQL service. So we're not going to be composing a new one, which we do cover in some other tutorials as well. We're going to use an existing GraphQL service so we can start to add stuff like security, query depth limiting, and all those great GraphQL features that we've added here in Tyke. And you'll see that our target URL is defaulted to countries.trevorblades.com, which is the location of the service that we're going to be using. And after that, we're going to come up here to Configure API. And now what you're going to see is in Core Settings, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to just change this from Authentication Token to an Open Keyless API just for simplicity's sake. And we'll come over to Schema. And as you can see, this schema has been automatically downloaded from that upstream. And we're going to leave that as it is. And we can save this. And now we have our first GraphQL API. So let's take a look here. If I click on this, and I'll show you how it works. Now we can actually use Graphical in order to issue and play around with some of the queries we could put in here. So I'm just going to show you quickly. We'll do continents. And we're just going to print out the name and play. And as you can see, we're able to use that GraphQL API, the Trevor Blades GraphQL API in the background, and we're proxying it through Tyke. As we expand, we'll continue to use this Trevor Blades API in order to show you how to add some more GraphQL features here in Tyke.